What's up, guys? Sanitary 103. Welcome to another episode of Meals for the Week. It is Sunday afternoon at 12 o'clock right now. Really, really busy day, but I'm glad I got this done. I prepared all my meals. I went to the gym this morning. I recorded like three upcoming videos. Really, really jam-packed uh, morning, but I'm glad it's all done. So let me uh, show you what I got going. So um, start off right here. And uh, I've uh, shown uh, this one in the past a long time ago, but uh, for the new subscribers, uh, it's for you guys, I guess, and for everybody. So the veggies, these are organic greens. I've been doing a medley of the um, green beans, uh, corn, peas, carrots, all that good stuff. Good, slow digesting carbohydrates. And the main course right here, this is a mojito salmon right here. I got two right here, and this is actually from Trader Joe's. This is delicious. And if you look right there, uh, let me just uh, focus in. Right there, mojito salmon. This is the wild Pacific salmon. It's got the mojito sauce, red bell peppers, and all that good stuff. And not many fillers at all, which is great. And right here, nutritional facts, eight ounces. Uh, for one, 310 calories a piece, 16 grams of fat, but a lot of good healthy fats, no trans fats. And right there, only five, well, about five and a half net carbs, 32 grams of protein. So this is excellent. It comes with a little a little tray, you know, and then you just put some tin foil over it and 40 minutes you're good to go. And one of the surprising things is that, you know, when you go to like fast food joints or stuff where you see stuff on the commercial, look at the picture right here, see that? And then look at the actual product. Let's see. Looks pretty darn close to tell you the truth, right? So they did a really good job on that. So if you have a Trader Joe's around your area, you should definitely check that out. So good amount of protein right there, good healthy fats. Moving on right here, got the uh, greens again, nothing too fancy. Right here you got the barbecue uh, flavored chicken. Really, really easy recipe. If you want to check out that video, just let me know. I'll put that in the video itself or in the description box. This is a chicken organic thighs right here, good source of protein. Got some barbecue sauce on there. And also I used a uh, onion soup mix as a base to add some extra flavor and I've been doing chicken thighs lately a little bit higher in fat but I just trimmed the fat and I'm good to go and thighs are a little bit less dry than chicken breast chicken breast can get pretty pretty boring at times so that looks good right there and the barbecue sauce uh, it does contain sugar and also a lot of carbohydrates so just use that um, sparingly drizzle a little bit on there and if you check your uh, local uh, grocery stores they often have uh, lower uh, calorie uh, barbecue sauces. So the sauces you want to be a little bit careful in general. Just read the uh, nutritional information, use your common sense, and definitely stick to a lot of uh, different spices and stuff. So uh, that's about it for this uh, quick video. Thanks for all your support. I hope these meal examples have uh, kept you motivated and give you some ideas on uh, staying healthy. And if you want some more um, meal examples and or healthy recipe ideas, check that out on my main channel. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye. As far as taste goes, uh, this is the watermelon flavor. Like I mentioned, I love watermelon flavor. Uh, it tastes a little bit watered down, but I'm going to give this product the benefit of the doubt.